electric car. Pepper and George are in their bedroom. <laughs> vroom, vroom. Car! George is playing with his toy car. What is it, George? Car! Car! Don't worry, George. It isn't broken. It just needs new batteries. There. Hooray! Daddy's home! <laughs> <laughs> That's not Daddy. Oh, it is Daddy. Hello. Have we got a new car? No. I'm just trying it out. It looks fun. It's an electric car. It's a car that runs on batteries instead of petrol. Ooh. Just like George's toy car. <laughs> Daddy's got a toy car just like George's. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we go for a drive? Yes, yes please. please. Then let's go. Oh, the car is broken. Does it need new batteries? Oh, yes, of course. We just need to charge up the battery. Look! The battery is charging up. Finished! The electric car is fully charged up. Right. Is everybody ready? Yes, yes Daddy, Daddy Pig! Then let's go! Wow! This car is so quiet. Yes, electric cars are quiet until they start talking. What do you mean, talking? Ho, ho, it's time you met Roger. Hey, Roger. Hello, my name is Roger. <gasps> Hello, Roger. Hello, Pepper. <laughs> Roger is very clever. He always knows which way to go and he can park all by himself. Wow! wow. I can even drive by myself. Really? really? Sit back and relax, Daddy Pig. Let me drive. OK, if you say so. Ooh. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. I am an expert driver. Whee! It's a magic car! <laughs> Stop! It is Police Officer Panda and Police Officer Squirrel. Hello, hello, hello. What's going on here, then? Driving with no hands, Daddy Pig. I wasn't driving. Yes, you were. No, I wasn't. Well, if you weren't driving, then who was? Car driving itself, was it? Yes, yes it, it was. was. Well, I'd better talk to the car, then, hadn't I? Hello, car. Hello. Whoa! What in the wide world was that? He's called Roger and he's very nice. Yes, he can even drive himself. Can you now? Well, to drive on these roads, you need a driving license. Oh. oh. So, Roger, do you have a driving license? Oh, of course. <laughs> oh, I see. Well, in that case, everything seems to be in order. Bye. Bye. Drive safely. Roger the car is driving safely. Amazing! Roger can do everything. George's car can sing. Joy, joy, driving along, <laughs> driving while I sing a song. Can you sing, Roger? Yes, I can sing. Car, car, electric car, travelling near and travelling far. Knows exactly where you are. Knows exactly where you are. Oh! Where are we? We are now arriving home. Hooray! <laughs> Thank you, Roger. At your service. Will you be all right outside in the night? Oh, yes. I'm used to it. OK, Roger. Sleep well. Thank you, Pepper. You too. Pepper loves Roger. Everybody loves Roger the electric car. <laughs> Pepper and George are playing in their bedroom. They have made a bit of a mess. <laughs> My goodness, what a mess! Oh, sometimes, Pepper, you could do a tiny bit of tidying up. Then we wouldn't ever have to tell you off. Hmm, why do children get told off? Grown ups don't get told off. Ho, ho, that's one of the very few good things about being a grown up. 
there. Lovely and tidy. Right. I'm off to the shops. Can George and me come too? OK. <laughs> but I don't think you'll like this particular shopping trip. Daddy, what are you going to buy at the shops? I'm buying a bag of concrete. Daddy Pig likes concrete. Ugh, not the concrete shop again. I'll be as quick as I can. This is the concrete shop. What does that sign mean, Daddy? It means you shouldn't park here. So why are you parked here? It's all right, because I won't be long. Hello, Daddy Pig. Have you come to do some shopping? Just buying a bag of concrete. It's so boring. Peppa, why don't you and George wait here and help me do my job? Thank you, Miss Rabbit. I won't be long. No problem. What job are you doing today, Miss Rabbit? I'm a traffic warden. Ooh! What does a traffic warden do? I look for cars parked where they shouldn't be. When I find one, I give it a parking ticket. Like this. Ooh! There. One bag of concrete. Say cheese. Cheese. See you later. Bye-bye. Oh, what's this? It's a parking ticket. Ah. Oh. Daddy, is a parking ticket like being told off? Uh, yes, Peppa. It's like being told off. Mummy, Mummy, Daddy got a ticket. That's nice. What did he get a ticket for? The cinema or the circus or... I got a parking ticket. Oh, well, hopefully it was just a mistake. Oh, yes. Maybe it was meant for someone else. Delivery for Daddy Pig. Thank you, Mr Zebra. Look! It's a picture of me, George and Daddy in our car. Yes, next to a no parking sign. It says I have to have a lesson to learn how to park. Daddy has to go to school. <laughs> It is Police Officer Panda and Police Officer Squirrel. Hello, 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 Mr Pig. Uh, can I help you? Yes, it's about the parking ticket. It's just routine. Nothing to worry about. You're not planning on leaving the country, are you? No. Are you ready for your parking lesson? Yes. Marvellous. Follow me. This is a no parking sign. It is important to look out for signs on the public highway. That's right. Police Officer Panda will now show you how to park. Here is somewhere you can park. There is no sign here. Here is somewhere you should not park. There is a no parking sign. And that is the end of the parking lesson. That's all very clear. Thank you, Police Officer Panda and Police Officer Squirrel. Just doing our job. Hello, Police Officer Panda. Oh, hello, Miss Rabbit. Say cheese. What? A parking ticket? But that's outrageous. I was only parked for a moment. This sign was clearly visible. And you were parked in front of it. Ho, ho, you're right. It just goes to show that nobody is above the law. <laughs> And even grown-ups get told off. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and George are at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house today. To me, George! Throw to me! <laughs> Mr Labrador is here in his new ice cream van. Ice, ice cream! cream. Hooray. Hooray! Everyone is queuing for ice cream. Hello, Mrs Cat. What flavour would you like? Is the vanilla ice cream nice? Oh, I don't know. I haven't tried it yet. It is Mr Labrador's first day selling ice creams. Oh, it's delicious. Oh, nom, 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 nom. Would you like one? Yes, please. What's the strawberry flavour like? Uh, I'd better check. Oh, nom, 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 nom. Ooh, that's nice as well. I want a strawberry ice cream. <coughs> what do you want, George? Ice cream. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, nom, 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 nom. Is the mint ice cream good? Mmm, lovely. Four mint ice creams, please. 
Thank you, Mr Labrador. It is Pepper and George's turn. Can I have a strawberry ice cream, please? Ah, I seem to have run out of strawberry ice cream. Then can I have a vanilla ice cream, please? Oh, there's no vanilla left either. Actually, I've got no ice cream left at all. <laughs> no ice cream? <laughs> hmm, maybe I've tried too many myself. <laughs> yes, maybe you did. Mr Labrador loves ice cream. Don't worry, my little ones. Let's make our own ice cream instead. Can we do that? Yes. We used to make ice cream for your mummy when she was a little piggy. Oh, homemade ice cream. That sounds lovely. Up aboard now. Take it back home. Can we have the ice cream music, please? Good idea, Pepper. <laughs> 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 right, let's make ice cream. First, we pour some milk into a jug. Then we add some cream. Now, what flavour would you like your ice cream to be? We do have raspberries and strawberries from the garden. Yes! Let's make raspberry and strawberry ice cream. <laughs> In they go. Then we pour all our ingredients into a freezer bag. Now we need to make it very cold. Ooh. We'll put the ice cream bag into this bag full of ice and salt. And wrap it all in a towel. Now for the fun part. We shake it up and down for five minutes. You can start the shaking, Peppa. Ice cream, ice cream, shake, shake, shake. Ice cream, ice cream is what we make. <laughs> <laughs> very good, Peppa. Ice cream! <laughs> ice cream, ice cream, shake, shake, shake. Ice cream, ice cream is what we make. One last shake from me and I think it might be ready. Did it work? Yes. Ooh. Ooh. <coughs> it's the best ice cream in the world. <coughs> yum, yum. <coughs> Granny, <coughs> can all my friends come for ice cream? Of course they can, Pepper. Oh, in that case, we'll need to make a lot more ice cream. Hooray! Hooray! Ice cream! The best ice cream in the world! All of Peppa's friends are here for ice cream. Hooray! Can I have banana? Can we have raspberry? Can I have blueberry, please? Here you go! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Peppa! <laughs> Have you got carrot flavour? Oh, I don't think so. Yes, we do. Made with carrots from my very own garden. Mmm. Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> I love ice cream. We all love ice cream, Mr Labrador. Yes, but I really love ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Breakfast Club. Pepper and her friends are going to playgroup earlier than usual this morning. Good morning, children. Good morning, Madam Gazelle. Who knows why we have come to playgroup early today? Is it because we didn't learn enough things yesterday? No, Danny, that is not the reason. Is it because you like us so much? Well, I do like you all, but it is not the reason. Is it a very special day today? Yes, Pedro. We have all come to playgroup early because today is Breakfast Club. Ooh! And who knows what we do at Breakfast Club? Eat our breakfast! Correct! I love eating breakfast. So do I. Me too. Everyone <laughs> loves eating breakfast. And why is it so important to have a good breakfast? Because breakfast wakes your mouth up. So we can do lots of talking. Talk, 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 talk. Yes, yes. Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> I eat breakfast because it tastes nice. Yes, Pedro. And breakfast gives us energy to use throughout the day. Uh... What is energy? Energy is the strength and vitality required for physical or mental activity. That's right, Edmund. 
<laughs> so, Rebecca, what do you use your energy for? I use it for hopping. <laughs> Very good. I use energy for thinking. What's he doing? Edmund is thinking. Yes, I was thinking. Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. <laughs> it can take a lot of energy to think. Ooh. And now we will all choose what to have for breakfast. We have bread, cheese, jam, porridge, yogurt. May I have carrots for my breakfast, please? Yes, you may. Can I have cereal, please? Of course you can. <laughs> Madam Gazelle? Can I have toast, please? Yes, Susie. I shall make you some toast. Does anyone else want toast? No, thank you. OK. The bread goes in here, and we push this lever down. The toaster gets very hot, so please do not touch it. And wait for it. It's coming any minute. Hoppla! Got it! Wow! Can I have toast, please? I'm I'm me. Me. I'm I'm me. Me. Everybody wants toast for breakfast. Well, in that case, I will have to use the big toaster. Ooh. It's a super toaster. <laughs> <laughs> Plates ready, everyone. Wait for it. Here it comes. Whee! <laughs> Everyone has caught their toast. Again, again, again! No, children, eat the toast you have first. <laughs> Can I have honey on my toast, please? Can I have marmalade, please? Of course, children. I'm having strawberry jam on mine. I'm having honey, marmalade and strawberry jam on my toast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting lots of energy in my tummy. So am I. I'm getting strawberry jam energy. I'm getting honey jam and marmalade energy. Everyone has <laughs> lots and lots of energy. And now it is time for us to do a breakfast bounce. Follow me. <laughs> we use the energy from the food to get our bodies and minds ready for the day. Copy me, children. Egg, apple, yogurt, pancake and toast. Which one for breakfast do I like the most? Toast, honey, egg, jam. Toast, toast, toast. Breakfast is over and everyone is ready to start the day. Pepper and her friends are watching their favourite television programme, Super Potato. Hoo-ha! Am I a bird? Am I a plane? No! I'm a potato! <laughs> <laughs> I love watching Super Potato. Me too. Super Potato is the best. Hoo-ha! Fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. Always remember to eat your five. We've seen this before. I know all the words by heart. Yes, they show the same story again and again and again. Brilliant, isn't it? Yes, and we will remember all of the words forever. Yes, we remember all of the words forever. <laughs> Everyone is so tiny on TV. In real life, they are big. How are they big and tiny? And how do they get in our TV? It's some sort of magic. It's not magic, it's science. Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. <laughs> <laughs> Would you all like to see how they make TV? Yes, yes please. OK, let's go to TV land. This is TV Land. Stop! Do you work here? Um, no. Then I'm afraid you can't come in. But we are children and we want to see how TV is made. Oh, in that case, in you go. Thank, Thank you. you. Ooh! Wow! wow. Here is Miss Rabbit. Have you come to see how we make television? Yes! Very good. Follow me. 
Potato. 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 Hello, everyone. Hello. You see, he's not tiny. He's big. We're ready for you now, Super Potato. The show must go on. This is where the magic happens. It's not magic, it's science. You're a bit of a clever clogs, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> OK, we're ready to go. Light, camera and action. Fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. And cut. That was amazing! The camera now turns all of that into magic bits. Electromagnetic signals. That go to a thingy on the roof. Television transmitter. The thingy... Transmitter. Sends the magic bits across the sky to the TV aerial on your roof. Unless you have a cable or a dish. And down into the TV. Susie Sheep and her mummy are at home watching television. Fruit and vegetables keep, keep us, us alive. alive. Always, Always remember, remember to eat your five. Would any of you like to be on TV? Yes, please. We just have to put you in front of the camera. OK. Action. What do I do? Just say something. Anything. OK. I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little brother, George. Wow! Peppa and George are on TV. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Peppa, it's for you. Peppa, I can see you on TV. <laughs> Am I tiny? Yes, you are tiny. <laughs> this is fun. Can I be on TV again? Of course! Now we've recorded that, you can be on TV every day! Hundreds and hundreds of times! Hooray! <laughs> Peppa loves TV. <laughs> Everyone! Botanical Gardens Today, Peppa and George are going to the Botanical Gardens. Miss Rabbit is head gardener. Welcome to the Botanical Gardens, where we grow plants from all around the world. Ooh. Our first garden is a wildflower meadow. It will look nice when you've tidied it up a bit. This is what wildflower meadows are meant to look like, Daddy Pig. Ah! It takes a lot of effort to make it look this messy. The butterflies and bees like it. That's right. Wildflower meadows are very good for butterflies and bees. <laughs> Would you like to see the other gardens? Yes, yes please. please. This is the hot house. It's very hot in here. Yes, Peppa. It is where we grow plants that come from very hot places. We have cacti, Ooh. palm trees, ah. and this is a Venus flytrap. Why is it called a flytrap? Because it traps flies. Watch. The Venus flytrap has caught a fly. <laughs> George, let's play Venus flytraps. <laughs> I will be the flytrap and you can be the fly. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Caught you, George. <laughs> now I'll be the fly and you be the flytrap. Buzz. <laughs> George, <laughs> Venus flytraps do not run. <laughs> Oh dear, George is a very sad Venus flytrap. Sorry, George. Let's both be flies. Calm down, little flies. It's too hot to buzz about in here. Don't worry, the next room is much cooler. This is our cold house. Is it the North Pole Garden? Sort of. The proper name is Arctic Tundra Garden. Ooh, ice cream. Does ice cream grow at the North Pole, Miss Rabbit? No, our fridge is broken, so we're keeping them here to stop them melting. Would you like one? Yes, please. Thank you. Pepper and George love ice cream, even in the cold. <laughs> Follow me. 
This is the rainforest garden. Wow! wow. Miss Rabbit, why is it called a rainforest? We call it the rainforest because it's a forest. And it rains a lot. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I make it rain every hour on the hour. It's nice. The rain in the rainforest is lovely and warm. A room where it rains when you want. We need something like this at home. We've got one, Daddy Pig. It's called a shower. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and through here is Mr Rabbit. Mr Rabbit is in the experiment room. Hello, everyone. My job is to make new plants. How? Well, butterflies and bees do it by taking pollen from one flower to another. The flowers then make seeds that grow into new plants. Mmm, this flower smells lovely. Oh, this pretty flower doesn't smell of anything. When I put the pollen from one onto the other, the seeds made a new flower that smells lovely and looks pretty. Mmm, that does smell lovely. You can do it with vegetables as well. I put this small, tasty carrot together with this big, not very tasty carrot. And made a big, tasty carrot. Uh, no, actually. I made a small, not very tasty carrot. Oh. Uh -oh. Would you like to see the children's garden now? Yes, please. <laughs> it has a very special water feature. A fountain? No. A waterfall? No. A great big muddy puddle. Wow. Come on, George. Whee! Peppa loves all the botanical gardens, especially the muddy one. Fire station practice. Today is the Mummy's Fire Station Practice Day. Hello, Mummy Pig. Are you ready for action? Yes, Miss Rabbit. Mummy, can we stay and watch you practice? Oh, there won't be much to see, Peppa. It's mostly just sitting around and drinking tea. Daddy Pig, we do proper fire service training here. Ready, steady, go is our motto. And to get that right, we need to practice. Yes, stay and watch. Daddy Pig might learn something. This is the fire service control room. Time for a cup of tea, I think. What did I tell you? We need a cup of tea to get ready for the day. In an emergency, we have to be ready in seconds. This first practice will show you just how ready we are. When I ring this bell, the tea drinking stops, the helmets go on, everyone slides down the fire pole... Whee! Whee! ..into the fire engine and off they go! Follow me outside for the next bit. Whee! 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 <laughs> Remember, ready, steady, go. You just saw ready. Now watch our steady. You have to be very steady when using the fire hose. Mummy's ready. Steady, go! Mummy dog fixes the hose to the fire engine. Mummy Pony rolls out the hose and Mummy Pig points the squirty end at the target. Turn the water on. Water on. Steady, Mummy! Steady! The target is hit and the fire is out. Hooray! That looks fun. It's hard work, Daddy Pig. Is it really? Yes. Just feel how heavy this fire hose is. Oh, yes. That is heavy. And that's even before we've turned the water on. Turn the water on. OK. Whoa. Oh! <laughs> Sorry. It is not easy to hold a fire hose steady. That was hard work. Now you see why we need to be super fit. Yes. And how do we get super fit? On the fire station obstacle course. 
This is the fire station obstacle course. Running through this keeps us fit and healthy. So that in an emergency we can keep going. We've shown our ready and our steady. Now let's practice our go. Ready, steady, go! go! The first obstacle is the inconvenient wall. Go! Go! Woo! Next is the confusing crawling tube. Oh, where am I? <laughs> oh, here I am. Go, Mummy, go! Across the seesaw of general upsets. Ah! Through the tricky tippy toe tyres. One, two, one, two, one, two. Up the sloping rope walk. <sighs> And down the yippee zip wire. Yippee! 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 Oh, oh dear, Mummy Pig is stuck. <gasps> Mummy, are you all right? I'm fine, Pepper. Actually, this mud is quite nice. Stay there, Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> Yippee! 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 <laughs> Everyone likes fire station practice, especially when there are muddy puddles to jump in. Big box. Pepper and George have been sailing with Granny and Grandpa Pig. All ashore! <laughs> I'm rather thirsty. Shall we have a juice in the clubhouse? Yes, please. Ah, uh, the clubhouse is a bit stuffy, Grandpa Pig. <laughs> Not much fun for Pepper and George. That's all right, Granny. We only want a juice. It is very quiet in the clubhouse. Could we have four fruit juices, please? Do you have a membership card, sir? Of course. Very good, sir. Here are Mr Stallion and Mrs Corgi. Ah, oh, Grandpa Pig. Good to see you, old bean. Shh. Sorry. What are all these people doing here, Granny? I don't know, Pepper. Mostly sleeping, I think. Oh. What's this? It's a jukebox. <laughs> it plays music. I like music. But it looks like this one hasn't played music in a long time. Four fruit juices. Thank you, Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> a jukebox? Yes, but it's not playing music. It might play music if we put a coin in. Uh, we don't want to disturb anybody. Oh, Grandpa. <laughs> There wouldn't be a jukebox here if they didn't want us to play it. I suppose so. Let's choose something quiet. Of course. Coin, please. Thank you. Ooh. Now, where's the rock and roll music? <laughs> here we are. Rock and roll. <laughs> this is rock and roll music. Come on, George, let's go! We're gonna roll, roll, roll. Rock and roll. We're gonna rock. What's all this noise? I am so sorry. Yes, here you should be. Disco music is what you want to play. Disco music? I'll show you. Have you got a coin? Of course. Thank you. Here we go. Get ready to groove on down. This is disco music. Groove on down to the disco town. What a racket! Why don't you play something good? So, what do you think is good music then? Hip hop. Has anyone got a coin? Grandpa had coins. OK, here you go. With a hip and a hop, you got a hip This hop. is hip-hop music. With a hip and a hop, you got a hip-hop. Well, I never. <laughs> this is 
is brilliant! <laughs> With a hip and a hop, you got a hip hop. Mrs. Corby is dancing like a robot. Wow! Look at that! With a hip and a hop, you got a hip hop. With a hip and a hop, you got a hip hop. Is somebody having a party? It is Grumpy Rabbit. Excuse me, sir, but are you a member? No, but I'm with him. Uh, hello, Grumpy Rabbit. Hi there. I heard music. We found a jukebox. Does he play my kind of music? And what, dare I ask, is your kind of music? Heavy metal, of course. And I suppose you need a coin? Thanks, old chap. Heavy metal music. <laughs> this is the only music to dance to. <laughs> Grumpy Rabbit loves dancing to the jukebox. Everybody loves dancing to the jukebox. Mandy Mouse's birthday. Today is Mandy Mouse's birthday. As a special treat, Mandy is going to Cheese World with her friends. Mandy. What is Cheese World? It's the most fun ever! There's a cheese river, a cheese mountain, and a cheese sky! Wow! And best of all is the Cheese Castle, where you get to smell cheese! <laughs> you like cheese, don't you, Mandy? Yes, Mummy! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Cheese World! Have any of you been here before? Yes, I have. Oh, hello, Mandy. Nice to see you back again. <laughs> <laughs> so, as Mandy already knows, everything at Cheese World is about... Cheese! That's right! And we start by sailing on a river of... Cheese! <laughs> this is the River of Cheese. All aboard! Hold tight, everyone! Miss Rabbit, are the boats made out of real cheese? No, the boats are made out of plastic. Boats made out of real cheese would be bizarre. Ah. The Cheese River flows past hills and trees of cheese. <laughs> this is the Cheese Mountain. Ooh! Is this mountain made out of real cheese? No, but this is exactly what it would be like to sail through a cheese mountain. Oh. If cheese mountains existed. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to the cheese aeroplanes. Wow! Now, has anyone flown one of these planes before? I have! Of course. Hi there, Mandy. <laughs> Can you show your friends what to do? Yes. <laughs> if you pull the lever, the plane goes up. Wow! And if you push the lever, the plane goes down. Ooh! All aboard your aeroplanes! <laughs> up, up, and away! <laughs> this is brilliant! <laughs> There's the cheese sun. <laughs> and the clouds are cottage cheese. I can see the whole world, and it's all cheese. Ooh. Was that fun? Yes! <laughs> Told you it would be the most fun ever! <laughs> Hello, Mandy Mouse. Lovely to see you at Cheese World again. Hello, Grumpy Rabbit. Have you told your friends about my castle of cheese? I told them the castle of cheese was the best bit. Too <laughs> right. It's where we get to smell real cheese. No pretend cheese here. Ooh. Follow me, if you dare, into my castle of cheese. <laughs> Let's start by smelling a mild cheese. Mmm, that smells good. I like it too. Not much of a smell. <laughs> Now for some decently strong cheese. <laughs> ah, that's more like it. A proper stinky one. Ooh, it smells like my daddy's socks. <laughs> and now, boys and girls, we come to the strongest cheese in the whole world. 
here goes. <laughs> That's what I call cheese. Mmm. It's the nicest smell I've ever smelt. <laughs> you do so love cheese, don't you, Mandy? Yes, Mummy. I like smelling cheese, and I like eating cheese even more. <laughs> Funny you should say that, because it's time for your birthday cake. And it's a cheesecake. Happy birthday, Mandy. This is my best. <laughs> Pepper and George are spending the day at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Grandpa Pig! Papa Egg! <laughs> Hello, Pepper and George. Bye! See you later. Bye. Bye! Bye! Hello, Pepper and George. Granny Pig! Granny Pig is wearing a space suit. What? Dressed as a space person. Oh, Granny is playing another little game with her friends. I'm doing an important historical reenactment. <coughs> it's about when people first landed on the moon a long time ago. Ooh. Follow me. If you ask me, it's just an excuse to have cups of tea and some cake. System checks complete, Granny. Rocket is ready for blast off. Wow! A rocket! Yes! It's Grumpy Rabbits. He's kindly lent it to us for the day. What excitement! I'll just get the rocket ready for its blast off to the moon. <laughs> Granny? Are we really going to the moon? No, Peppa. It's just pretend. Ah! We are going to pretend the garden is the moon and do the things they did on the first moon landing. We will plant a flag. And we will collect moon rocks. Just be careful of my rockery. Don't worry, Grandpa Pig. We will be very careful. Well, while you play your game, I think I'll make myself useful getting the tea and cakes ready. Have fun. All aboard, everyone. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Oh, well, I suppose six, these harmless little garden five, games keep Granny four, happy. Three, two, one. We have Oh, my goodness! Grumpy Rabbit's rocket has really taken off! Why does the game have to be so noisy? Grumpy Rabbit! This was just meant to be pretend! Pretend? What would be the fun in that? So, are we really going to the moon? We certainly are! It's the space adventure of a lifetime! If we're really going to the moon, I suppose our reenactment will be even better. Grumpy Rabbit's rocket has landed on the moon. It's one small step for Granny Pig. And one giant leap for Grumpy Rabbit! Woohoo! Come on, Pepper and George! Whee! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Peppa. We can jump very high on the moon. <laughs> <laughs> These games of grannies. I hope they're not messing up my garden. <laughs> the first people to land on the moon planted a flag to show that they had been there. <laughs> Excellent, George. And they collected rocks. This is a pretty rock. Well done, Peppa. We can take that moon rock home with us. Did Grandpa Pig mention cups of tea for later? Yes. <gasps> I think we've earned it. Let's go home. Three, two, one, and go! The rocket is flying back home. My goodness! Granny's garden game is getting even noisier. Grandpa, Grandpa! How did the game go? We went to the moon. Super! It's true. We really did go to the moon. Of course you did, Granny Pig. And we brought you back our moon rock. Lovely. It will sit very nicely in my rockery. 
Oh, I love space adventures. Everyone loves space adventures. Festival. Pepper is going to a children's festival. Daddy, what is a festival? It's a big outdoor party with lots to see and do. I just hope it doesn't rain, otherwise it can get a bit muddy. Don't worry, it won't be muddy. Oh, I like mud. This is the Children's Festival. Wow! wow. <laughs> Welcome to the festival! At the Children's Festival, there are so many fun things to see and do. <laughs> Here is Susie Sheep. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. Isn't this great? It's brilliant! There's so much going on. What shall we do first? We've got making things, sand castles, storytelling. Yes! I like stories! Me too! <laughs> <laughs> this is the story tent. All of Peppa's friends are here. Hello, children. If you want a story about a pirate, say, Aha! Aha! Good. Once upon a time, there was a pirate. He found a desert island and he dug up some buried treasure. The end. <gasps> what an adventure! That story makes me miss the sea. I must set sail at once and find that desert island. Captain Dog loves the sea. It's just the story, Daddy. You don't need to set sail. Oh, yes. No need for me to set sail ever again. I like the children's festival. Yes, and not a drop of rain. We've been really lucky this year. Ho, oh, oh. ho! I told you it wouldn't be muddy. A little bit of mud would be nice. This way to the making things tent. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, today we're going to learn how to make something from the olden days. Who wants to make a basket? Hmm. Okie dokie. How about knitting an olden days hat? How about a dragon? Me! Me! All the children are making dragons. <laughs> wow, those dragons are good. Almost like the real thing. Dragons are not real. They are mythical creatures. You're a bit of a clever clogs, aren't you? Actually, the correct term is child prodigy. <laughs> Making things was fun. And we've still got lots to see and do tomorrow. Tomorrow? Are we staying here tonight? We certainly are. Yes, I was hoping we could find a hotel nearby, but... I thought camping would be more fun. Yay! Camping! Great. <laughs> <laughs> this is the camping area. Hello! Hello, Peppa. Are you camping too? We're not camping, we're glamping. What's glamping? It's like camping, but with lots of home comforts. We've got a bathroom with a basin and a bath and a toilet. <laughs> and we've got a living room. And a TV. Wow. wow. Glamping looks great. Daddy, are we glamping? No, we have our own little tent. Hopefully, it's not too difficult to put up. It shouldn't be a problem. After all, I am a qualified structural engineer. Mummy Pig, put the tent on the poles, please. That's it. Easy as pie. Hooray! Are you enjoying the festival? It's brilliant. Yes, and it's lucky it hasn't rained. Too right. When it rains, this field just becomes mud. We like mud. But mud and camping don't go so well together. Ho, ho! It's not going to rain. Night, night, everyone. Night, night. 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 Pepper and her family are sleeping in their little tent at the children's festival. Oh dear, it is starting to rain. Mr. Bill the teacher. Today, Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Mr. Bull is cutting the grass. Good morning, children. Good, Good morning, Madame Gazelle. Today, we are going to be learning all about. <laughs> <laughs> what is so funny? Madame Gazelle, you made a squeak. Oh, it 
it is just a squeaky floorboard. Hmm, I really should get it fixed. Hello? Oh, I completely forgot. I'll be right there. Children, I must go to the dentist. I will only be gone for a little while. Who will be our teacher? Oh, um... Moo! I'll finish cutting the grass. Excellent. Mr Bull, would you mind looking after the children while I go to the dentist? Uh... Thank you so much. Children, Mr Bull will be your teacher. I will be back very soon. Be good. We will. Good morning, children. Good morning, Mr Bull. Today I will teach you all about numbers. We've already done numbers. Have you? Can you tell me what number this is, then? Five. Very good, Danny. Does anyone know any other numbers? One, six, forty-two. Oh, you do know your numbers. Well, do you know the letters of the alphabet? Yes. C for cat. D for dog. E for elephant. <laughs> Lots of letters. So I see. Has Madame Gazelle taught you any nursery rhymes? Mary had a little lamb. Days of the week. Friday. Uh, fruit and vegetables. Carrot. Gosh, Madame Gazelle has taught you everything. There's nothing left for me to do. <laughs> What's that? It's the squeaky floorboard. Madame Gazelle wants it fixed. Does she now? Well, I've just thought of something I can teach you. How to fix a squeaky floorboard. Hooray! A couple of taps with this hammer will fix it. Hello? Hello, Mr. Bull. How are you getting on? Oh, very good. I'm just teaching the children how to fix things. Ah, that sounds nice. I'll be back soon. All right. Bye-bye. <coughs> that, children, is how you fix a squeaky floorboard. It's still squeaking. Stand back. I need to take a closer look. There we go. This was the squeaky floorboard. But the floor is still squeaking. <laughs> oh, it must be this floorboard. There we go. It's still squeaking. <laughs> There's only one thing for it. What's that? We dig up the floor! Hooray! Hello, Mr. Bull. I am coming back now. Is everything OK? Yes, yes. It's all under control. See you soon. Stand back, children. Mr. Bull is fixing the floor. <laughs> Madame Gazelle is back from the dentist. Ah! Mr. Bull, what are you doing to my school? Mr. Bull is fixing the squeaky floor. That's right. Look. No squeaks now. That is because there is no floor now. Oh, yes. Put everything back how it was before, please. Right you are. <laughs> Mr. Bull is good at digging holes and hopefully good at filling them in again. Father's Day. Today is Father's Day. It is the day when everyone thanks their daddy for being their daddy. Ah, what a great day to be a father. Mummy, can me and George play in the garden today? Of course, Peppa. I might do some weeding. Well done, Mummy Pig. This garden could do with a bit of a tidy up. And, uh... What are you going to do today, Daddy Pig? The grass needs cutting. Uh, I think I will just be a father today. Can you be a father and cut the grass? You've all forgotten, haven't you? Forgotten what? It's Father's Day when daddies get thanks and cards and sometimes cake. Is it like Mother's Day? 
Sort of. Although Mother's Day is a real day. And Father's Day is a sort of made-up modern thing. What do you mean? It's exactly like Mother's Day, but for daddies. Poor Daddy. We forgot. Yes. Sorry, Daddy Pig. What would you most like to do on your special day? Um, could I watch some racing cars on TV? There you go. Fantastic. Daddy Pig loves watching racing cars on TV. Ah. Pepper, George, it would be really lovely if you made Daddy a Father's Day card. Yes! <laughs> Here is Daddy in the garden, <laughs> in the long grass. Wonderful! What do you want it to say inside? To you, Daddy, you are the bestest Daddy in the whole world. Well done. Kiss, kiss. Lovely. Hmm. It just needs one more thing. Glitter. Oh, uh, I'm not sure it needs glitter, Pepper. Yes, it does need glitter. Uh, I think the glitter is lost. Found it. Someone has put the glitter high up on top of the fridge. Oh, well done for finding it, Pepper. Ah. Oh. This is nice. Happy Daddy's Day! <laughs> oh, what a lovely card. Open it. Ah, glitter. Yes, we used all the glitter. How wonderful. <laughs> Daddy Pig loves glitter. Everyone loves glitter. <laughs> now, let's make a Father's Day cake. What can we put in the cake? <laughs> yes. George, Daddy does like cereal. <laughs> and tomato ketchup. <laughs> I'm not sure Daddy Pig likes ketchup in cake. Daddy does like ketchup. <laughs> Everyone likes tomato ketchup. Cheese. Yes, George. Daddy loves cheese. <laughs> oh, oh, what's going on here? <gasps> Daddy, don't look. It's a surprise. You were supposed to be watching racing cars on TV. I thought I would get up and do something. You could always cut the grass. Daddy can't work on Daddy's Day, Mummy. Thank you, Peppa. You can give me and George piggyback rides. Ah. <laughs> oh, oh. It's hard work not working. <laughs> now it's time for your tea party. This way, Daddy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Would you like some tea? Thank you, Pepper. And is there any cake? Oh, yes, the cake. Mummy! Please bring the cake. Here it is, Pepper. But I'm not sure it's the sort of cake that can actually be eaten. Yes, it is. It is the best cake ever. George and me made it all ourselves. Fantastic. I can't wait to try it. Mm. What's in it? All your favourite things. Mmm, tasty. Did you have a nice day, Daddy? <laughs> yes, Pepper and George. It was super. <laughs> Daddy Pig loves Father's Day. Everybody. Muddy Festival. Pepper and her family are in their little tent at the children's festival. It has been raining all night and the whole field has become mud. <laughs> Whoop! What's it like out there, Daddy Pig? Is there any mud? Um, a little bit of mud, yes. Oh, my goodness. Wow! So much mud! <laughs> yes, but it does say it can get a tiny bit muddy here sometimes. A tiny bit muddy? I've never seen so much mud in all my life. It's brilliant! Yes, <laughs> and we've got a whole day at the festival ahead of us. At the children's festival, there are so many fun things to see and do. Hmm, let's start with making sandcastles. Yippee! Sandcastles! <laughs> this is the sandcastle area. Who likes making sandcastles? Yay! <laughs> now, you might have noticed it's been raining. So instead of sand castles, we're making mud castles. Hooray! First, fill your buckets with mud. <laughs> Turn your buckets over. Give them a tap. Lift your buckets. 
Mud castles! <laughs> I like mud castles. Mud castles are the best! Well done, Miss Rabbit. How did you ever come up with the idea for mud castles? Simple. It rains every year, so we always make mud castles. Ah. So what do we want to do next? How about painting pictures? Yay! This is the painting tent. <laughs> Today, we're going to paint pictures. And instead of paint, we're using mud. Ooh. We've got lots of brown mud and greenish mud. I even found some blue mud this morning. Hmm, what's best to paint with mud? I know! A muddy puddle! <laughs> the children are painting mud pictures. Daddy, what are we doing next? Something that's fun. Learn all about concrete in the olden days. <sighs> that sounds a bit boring. This is the history of concrete area. OK, so who wants to learn about concrete? Hmm. Okie dokie. Owing to the current mud situation, I've got a better idea. Who wants to do some puddle jumping? Me, me, me! <laughs> My most favourite thing in the whole world is jumping up and down in muddy puddles. And if we're going to jump in puddles... We must wear our boots. That's right. Are you ready? Yes! Then jump! <laughs> oh, oh, my turn! <laughs> Daddy Pig has covered everyone in mud. <laughs> Although I say it myself, that was a good puddle jump. Well done, Daddy Pig. But maybe that's enough mud for one day. Yes. Next up is dancing. Oh, good. I love dancing. Dancing in mud. Great. Hooray! Here is Madame Gazelle with her band. Hello, everyone. Are you ready to dance? Yes! yes! Dance, dance, dance in muddy puddles. Splish, splash, splash, splish, splash. With a big splash here and a big splash there Here is splash, there is splash, everywhere is splish splash Dance, dance, dance in muddy puddles Splish, splash, splash, splish, splash Yay! This is a very muddy festival Pepper loves the muddy festival Everyone loves the muddy festival <laughs> <laughs>